Hi, this is CS Trades 101, uh, the Wolfpack. We're going to be covering five indicators today um, and to do with stocks. <clears throat> the indicator shares in this fair are in a particular order. Doesn't matter which way they go. The only thing to keep in mind that every indicator it has a different perspective on that price action is the moving average. That's what we're going to cover now. And moving average is a technical indicator that calculates the average over stock over distance or time period of time. A 10 period moving average shows the 10, 10 candles it's a 10 um, so that's what it means like 10 10 price average is over 10 candles so moving averages mostly identified the trend of the market so that's an uptrend okay sloped upwards so that's classed as an uptrend and this is classed, if you see a downward, it's called a downtrend. And it's called a moving average. So it's, t it's over distance. So finally over the price is moving all around. It would be consolidating. It's called side action, sideways range. Dynamics area is the support and resistance. So you got your support and then resistance, okay? And then you got an upwards port and resistance. So there's a couple examples here. Same as downtrend, you'll see a couple different areas. See when it hits to the moving average, it touches, that's the resistance point it's punching through. pullbacks in a trending market so this is the e, this is the EM EMA and MA remember I was telling you about the two lines always on my charts so this is the 200 period MA so that's the long-term trend of the market and a 50 MA that's why I have different colors so that's a medium trend midway point and a 20 period MA is a short term. So you can set these at different um, areas inside of your stock screener. Yeah, you need more than two or more moving average to get a broader perspective of the market. So this is the, the RSI, Representative Strength Index. Okay, remember I told you about this? I'm always talking about this on the bottom of my uh, stock screener. Momentum indicator that measures the speed at which the price is moving. So the, it's an oscillator, the RSI. It means that the value of the revolves from zero to a hundred over distance. Okay. Oh yeah, when it's above seventy, to be over. It's an overbought area. So if you, if you know that, it's not good. It's going to start to collapse, right? So it's going to have a downward trend. Let's see, yeah. The or is below the, to be, it could be oversold, okay? It could have an upward, yeah. So people will start buying, so we'll have an upward pull attracted to the market okay it's probably one of the best indicator charts that I could find for you guys um, it's very really simple okay so overbought and oversold that's what your main concerns are right on um, when you're day trading yeah the RSI can be remained overbought for a long long time okay
the RSI is a trend filler. This filter is, um, it, yeah, it's above, it goes above 50. It's going to upward trend. Okay, when it's above 50, remember that. Below 50, it's insane. It's in a downward trend. So remember, above 50, below 50. Okay, those are the two you got to remember. Yeah, the, this is the v, uh, the third indicator, VWAP. Okay, day trading. Remember I said the VWAP? Okay, it's, that's all it's used for is day trading. A lot of people get that mixed up. Yeah, volume weighted over average, okay? It's over distance, okay? Which is what stock has to trend through the day based on the volume and price, okay? So when it's above the VWAP, it's good. It's an, the VWAP, so... It, yeah, multiplied by the volume, by the trades of the price, okay? The of the, of the volume. That's right. It's a little bit complicated, but it's, you'll get it eventually. So yeah, so institutionals and hedge funds use this, okay? That when they want to buy a large amount of shares of a particular company like AMC, they can't just randomly buy it at any price. If they do so, they might push the price high, which they don't want to do. Okay, that might get their orders executed. They won't want that. To, they, yeah, their objective is to buy the shares at fair value and just keep it like that quietly. That's why they do a lot of aftermarket. So they want to do it at below the VWAP, right? So it's like secretly. Yeah, we want to buy it when it just pulls to the VWAP. You don't want it below when it just hits it. You want to sell when it pulls back to the VWAP. So if it's above the VWAP and it starts coming down, that's when you want to pull out of your position. Okay, they're deviation lines, okay? Here they are, right here. So there's the VWAP and then you got your out. That's where you have the um, upper band, lower band, okay? And I can show you guys how to set all this on your stock screeners. I, I usually always have this set. So support and resistance. So that's the upper bands, upper, the upper resistance to the price, the lower uh, resistance or the lower support of the price. Okay. Um, that's why I always have them on my screen. The ball in your bands. Okay. This is a little bit little bit it's getting trippier, trickier so it's two lines are plotted in a deviation a standard deviation above the simple moving average okay it's a little bit more complicated here so they consist of three lines upper um, it's a guideline it's just a moving average the center line okay the upper line at two standard deviations to it okay to the moving average okay so it's off works off the middle line and it count the lower line two deviation lines off of the moving average okay so that's how it pulls itself apart and then when they cross over the fit the price is higher or lower on a relative base <laughs> yeah Bollinger bands is uh they're they're pretty good I don't use them as much. They're, it's volatility of the market. I don't really use them that much. Yeah, it just shows low volatility, um, with which AMC is. So, it would it would just show that there's a a strong. If if it shows this pattern here, you're gonna get a punch. Okay, it's gonna start ripping right here. You can yeah see. There's probably gonna be a breakout that goes upwards. That's exactly what I was saying. Or you can have a down pull. Yeah, you if they pull right out. Remember, I always talk about that when the when they pull apart, it, it's not good. But when they close up and they touch, we're gonna have a run. Okay, you have to remember these are just indicators. They don't. They're just guidelines. Okay, they're not like it's not like um, the holy grail here. It's not the EM and the EMA, they cross over. This one never crosses over, okay? 
Like they can tap each other, but that's about it. So yeah, this is for like swing trading. Um, that's when you're exiting and pulling out of your position. This is what they had the trader bot trained in is Bollinger Bands, okay? So it understands it more than I do because it's a, it's a mathematical formula. It's two lines, yeah, what I explained before, two lines uh, multiple or divided by. So it, when it punches through the center, you're gonna see it rip, okay? This is of a high volatile, low and high, yeah, that's right. Trade, swing trade, see, day trading, that's exactly what I was telling you. So I personally don't use them that much. The A, uh, the ATR, average true range. Okay, so this is a good one. So this shows the market of volatility and over the particular period of time. Remember time over distance. Remember I was to always telling you guys that? The RTL counts the distance be covered by the price over time. Okay, price over time. Okay. So when it's an uptrend, a strong uptrend, it'll keep on rising. That line will keep on going up. It's gonna it's gonna follow the market. Okay. If the price is in the TR will go up. Okay. And if it's down if it's a downtrend, it'll still go up. Okay, it it just reads the um the because you're having a strong pull in a down. It's pulling. It's just reading trends, right? So if you have a pull down, it's giving it a positive. Yeah, if it's choppy and up and down, it'll just get a, a side action. Okay, it'll get a full decrease. So when it gets side action, it's going to be choppy and slow. But but when it goes up or down, it's going to have high raises. Okay, so you have to remember that because it can it can mess you over. So yeah, um, the next one here is, uh, you just gotta, see, it can confuse you though a little bit. Um, yeah, stop loss and profit targets. It, this is a little tricky. So for instance, um, right on this um, candle right here, I think that this is gonna have a rip. It's gonna, it looks like a pullback signal it's gonna buy, okay? Yes, that's what I see too, because we're having a downward pull and look at the body. It goes by body. We're going to cover that in the next video. Okay. It's even, it's testing. It's with the, with the um, lines out of the bottom, it's testing equal at the time of entry was 82 bips. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about this. I kind of disagree with this guy, with this chart. Yeah, see, I don't really use this that much. Um, it's it's can be deceiving. Okay, um, I've actually I've actually got slid sideways on this one. It's really hard to master this one, um, and you have to remember it's just a guideline. See, it's an indicator in trading. See, what didn't I just say that? To combine the indicators together and use a price average action. Remember, I said they're just indicators. They don't, it's not going to give you, the, like, it's not the holy grail here. You're not going to get rich off this. Okay, my friends. Okay, I just wanted to go over that. And um, I just wanted the wolf pack to um, learn some things off of this. So we're going to start with the basic um, trading. I think this is my seventh video um, in my playlist. Um, so we're going to cover a lot more, but you guys wanted to get into some day trading. So you guys got to know the indicators. Okay. That's the first thing. If you go back to my other six videos, it's going to show you and teach you what, what to look for um, in candles uh, sticks. Okay. Um, the wicks, the test points, uh, the body, the full body, um, retracement. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there, the different types. Uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff, Hammerhead, uh, Doji Star. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them, okay? 
uh, Morningstar. Uh, you can, th there's a whole bunch of little indicators that you can learn. You should learn those first. This is like probably about just under uh, entry. This is probably like entry level, but a little bit above. It's probably a couple points above entry. So you should probably watch the other videos first. Um, they're actually really good ones um, that I did. I've done them quite a while ago, but this stuff has been around for so many years. This is, uh, there's hundreds of different types of indicators and systems and candles. Um, the Japanese were the first ones to come up with um, candles, okay, hollow candles um, on a chart that, for weighing rice, okay? So a lot of these indicators are from like really like um, hundreds to thousands of years old, some of them. Um, dead serious on that, do the research. So it's crazy stuff. Um, it's just been translated over and brought over and used in different entities over time. Okay, Wolfpack, keep it real, and I'll have some more of this content for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Peace.